Hello everybody, welcome to Playdesk. My name is Syed and today I wanna to talk about the Azure DevOps and AWS DevOps, right? Differences and similarities running DevOps in AWS and Microsoft Azure. Now, many of you are thinking if you're starting off, uh, you know, your career perhaps, which way we wanna go, whether you wanna pursue AWS platform or Azure platform. So this video is gonna help you decide uh, which one to pick once you understand the similarities and differences between the two or maybe if you want to do both So let's dive right in take a look at just briefly the cloud platform history now before considering the differences and similarities of course Between running DevOps in AWS or running DevOps in Azure. It's important to understand the different in their roots AWS is fairly new. It was actually launched in 2006 by Amazon who at that time was an online retailer selling books, right? Or, you know, doing e-commerce. They realized in the early days of the commercial internet, nearly about 10 years before, that they needed to scale up their IT infrastructure, right? And that's really, you know, gave birth to the Amazon or AWS platform. Now, you know, Azure has been a little late, right? So at a Microsoft developer conference in 2008, the first plan for Microsoft Azure Cloud was announced. So, you know, 2006 Amazon, 2008 Azure. A little late, but hey, not too bad. But in technology, two years means a lot, right? Depending on, you know, what's going on. So that's, you know, the background. So they're pretty much the same in that respect. But let's talk further. Let's talk about code pipelines. What are pipelines as code or known as DevOps code pipelines? You may have heard of those. The pipelines as code technique emphasizes that the configuration of delivery pipelines that build, test, and deploy applications of infrastructure should be treated as code. They should be placed under source control and modularized in reusable components, which basically you know, allows for automated testing and deployment. So as organizations move to decentralized autonomous teams building microservices architecture, the need for managing these pipelines as code increases and keeps the building and deployment of software consistent. And that's really you know, where the DevOps engineer, for example, comes in because that individual is responsible for automating these pipelines, right? Talking to developers, talking to QA, making sure everything is running smoothly and efficient, right? And faster. That's the deal with the DevOps engineer. All right, so let's break it down to AWS code pipeline and also talk about the Azure pipelines, the similarities and differences. So the AWS code pipelines is basically a fully managed continuous delivery service that connects to the existing tools and systems. It allows organizations, uh, companies to model the different stages of their software release process during the console interface. The AWS CLI, for example, or AWS CloudFormation or the AWS CDKs. It, you know, the AWS code pipeline, think about this, simply allows users to easily specify which tests they wanna run and customize the steps accordingly and dependencies required to deploy their application, right? So with Azure pipelines, on the other hand, is a cloud service that can automatically build and test code projects and make them available to other users. So a little bit of, you know, difference right there. It works with just about any language or project. So Azure pipelines, you know, they combine the continuous integration and continuous delivery to constantly and consistently test and build code and ship it to any target. So it supports almost any language for any platforms like Java, JavaScript, Node.js, Python, .NET, C++, and you name it, right? So Azure pipelines, they run in parallel um, you know, on Linux, for example, Mac OS or Windows, it's easy to build and push images to container registries like Docker Hub or even Azure Container Registry. Users can also deploy containers uh, to individual hosts or to Kubernetes environments, right? So the Azure pipelines allow users to extensively explore and implement, by the way, a wide range of community build test deployment tasks, along with hundreds of extensions from Slack to Sonar Cloud. Now, AWS also uses extensions, but you see a little bit of slight difference, right, between the AWS pipelines and the Azure pipelines. Now, as, as far as the code building tools are concerned, 
First, what are these code building tools? They're simply programs that automate the creation of the uh, the apps from source code, right? For example, so this building incorporates, uh, let's say, the compiling, linking, and packaging of code into usable um, or executable form. And that's really what this is all about. So let's talk about the code building in AWS and then code build in Azure. With AWS, there's a service called AWS Code Build. It's a fully managed continuous integration service that simply compiles the source code, runs the tests, and then produces software packages that are ready to deploy, whether you want to deploy into production and so on. With Code Build, developers don't need to provision, manage, and scale you know, their own build servers. It just gives you everything, right? You just have to run the code itself. The AWS Code Build eliminates the need to set up you know, do some patching or doing some updates and managing servers and software. Again, AWS will give that to you. There's no software to install or manage. With it, Azure Code Build, it provides three unique but separate services that are similar to AWS Code Build. For example, you'll have Azure repos, you know, just like AWS also has repositories. But Azure repos is a set of version control tools that you can use to manage your code. The Azure Artifacts introduces the concept of multiple feeds that you can use to organize and control access primarily to your packages, right? And then finally, you have the Azure Test Plans or the Test Hub in the Azure DevOps server. This simply provides you three main types of tests like management artifacts, test plans, test suites, and test cases. Code Deploy is the next step. So after you build the code, you need to deploy it, right? How does it work with AWS and how does it work with Azure? So first, let's talk about AWS Code Deploy. Again, it's a fully managed deployment service that you know automates the software deployments for you in a variety of computing services such as Amazon EC2. You can use uh, AWS Fargate, for example. You can use AWS Lambda and on-premise servers as well. And developers can use AWS Code Deploy to simply automate the software deployments, eliminating the need for error-prone manual operations. With AWS Code Deploy, it also helps you maximize the application availability during the software de deployment process. All right, the Azure Code Deploy services actually provides all of the services that AWS Code Deploy offers as well as providing integration with third-party tools such as Ansible, Chef, Puppet, Jenkins, and Terraform, which is, you know, a little bit of edge here as far as the Azure Code Deploy services are concerned. Now, as far as the DevOps overall collaboration tool sets, we have AWS CodeStar, uh, which basically is a full or enables developers to quickly deploy, build, and deploy applications. It's a full service once you log on to the AWS Management Console, just navigate to AWS CodeStar and it'll walk you through the process. All right, so differences between Azure and AWS, and that's the final, final part of this video. The differences between the suite of AWS and Azure DevOps tools in terms of general DevOps requirements, by the way, of coding, building, scripting, testing, packaging, releasing, uh, configuring, and monitoring in a collaborative environment with continuous integration and continuous deployment are more subtle than substantial. So the bottom line is that both of these, you know, AWS DevOps and Azure DevOps are fairly, fairly, I'd say about 95% or 96% similar, okay, in terms of the overall DevOps environment and tools. The major difference between Azure and AWS is, or, the tool set, right? The Azure and AWS DevOps tool set, the major difference are their integrations with their respective platforms. So for example, the major difference between Azure and AWS is that both tools, even though incorporate and you know look and feel for the respective UIs for their cloud platforms for obvious reasons, of course, AWS DevOps is much easier to get started as compared to Azure DevOps. Just the interface, just the UI, it's easier for you to manage, and which is better integrated between the different tools across the entire Azure DevOps toolset and has a much more comprehensive set of integrations with the entire Azure marketplace. So that's really the bottom line between the two 
So they're both fairly, fairly similar. Um, and I talked about the one major difference, of course, that AWS tools are easier to get into. And that's probably why AWS still has the largest market share. And everyone who wants to jump into a cloud platform or cloud computing, they choose AWS. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Syed. Let me know if you have any comments and make sure you hit that like button, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you get notified every single time. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys next time.